Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 853. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 850 to 853, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to, from a column of numbers, look up the one that occurs least frequently. So these are color coded. We can clearly see that the number 2 occurs only once, whereas 7 and 1 occur four times, and 3 occurs twice. All right, we'll see two methods. We'll see an extra column method with a relatively straightforward formula. And then from the logic of that, we'll construct a single cell formula. All right, count, since this is about frequency, we got to use count if, right? Count if. Well, I want each one of these cells to tell me how many of the number to the left are there. So I'm going to highlight the whole range in F4 for the range, comma, and the criteria will be this relative cell reference. Control Enter, and I'll copy it down. You can clearly see that every time it sees a 7, it's looking there and saying that there are four of them. The only problem with that is there's a 0. And our formula up here is going to rely on the min, M-I-N function, and it will extract the 0. So we don't want that. So I'm simply going to amend this and say if, logical test, is there a number directly to the left? So we'll use the is number. Is number delivers a true or false, so logical test. If it's true, then we want the count if. That would be the value if true. If it's false, we want double quote, close parentheses. So instead of a 0 to mess up our min function, there'll be a null text string. So Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now I can simply look up the min number in this column and extract the number from this column. To do that, we'll use index. Index, the array, that's the numbers you want to look up. There they are. Comma and row number. Well, I need the row number from this parallel range where the min, so I'm going to use match function. Match can look up a number and tell me the ordinal position or the relative position. The lookup value, oh, min. So it's going to find that number 1, comma, within what lookup range here. So the match will come through here, find the 1, because the min is finding that, and tell it what position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it looks like 7, comma. Um, the this the data isn't sorted, so we're going to use exact match. Close parentheses. That's our row number. Close parentheses on the index and enter. If I were to change this all to seven, right? So then it would extract three, right? I'm going to Control Z. Now let's look at for a single cell formula what we did here. We counted if each individual number, and we is numbered each individual number. Well, to do an array formula, we need to look at the whole column all at once instead of having this extra helper column. So we're, in essence, going to do the same thing here, except for notice the min of that range right there and the actual lookup range inside of match, right? It's really this whole thing right here. But we need to replace the A2s with the whole column. So let's see how to do that. Let's first see what count if does. So count if and the range, we're going to give it the whole range there, comma, criteria, all the criteria. Now what is this going to do? It's going to return a column similar to this, or it's going to return an array of values similar to what we see here. If I hit the F9 key, it's got that 0 there. So we need to do something to that. I'm going to say, because ultimately for inside the match, I need the min. So I'm going to say min. Uh, well, I don't want all these, because right now it'll give me that 0, right? So I'm going to say if. And the logical test, this we're going to need an array for this whole column. Tell me any time there is a number. So I'm going to say logical test is number, all of these. All right, so. What it's doing, the if function, logical test, it's a bunch of trues or falses. There'll be one false. That one false will eliminate the 0 that the count if is returning. So I'm going to comma, and the value if true, that's this. By leaving the false out and just closing this parentheses, in essence, what we will get is an 
um, false in the place of the zero. So when I hit F9, you can see now there's a false. Now the min will ignore the false and pick up the one. Control Z. Now we're going to need this. And I'm going to enter this and just show you. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. No. OK, I'm going to have to edit this. I'm going to close this just for a second. I'm going to Control Shift Enter. I just want to show you. Notice we have a match of that min. So we just built the min, but then we need to repeat the count if again in comma 0. So I'm going to come here, match. There's the min, the lookup value, comma, lookup array. That's the count if, comma, 0 for exact match. Right? So this match, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, it gives me the position 7. So now we simply, uh, and this will have to be entered as an array because the logical test argument here is expecting a single true or false, and we're giving it more than one. Nevertheless, we'll put our index and say, hey, extract every, or the value that we want to find and extract and return to the cell is in that column right there. Comma, the row number is that big thing right there. Close parentheses. And we have to, if we don't use Control Shift Enter, it gives me an NA or a value error. Control Shift and Enter, because this is an array formula, instead of just Enter. Now if I change these all to 7, I get a 3. All right, we'll see you next trip.